Hey, welcome to the channel. How would you like to have an oak tree this size on your property for free? And here's the bonus. I'll show you how you can be hundreds of miles away and you can bring back an acorn that you've got from a special event in your life, bring it back to your farm, coal stratify it, and share it with your grandchildren years down the road. Stick around, you're gonna like this one. We're back. And you know, let me start off, couldn't think anything better to do on a hot, humid day in Alabama than to make a YouTube video. So here we are. What we've done today, uh, or what we're doing today, I should say, is we are taking acorns that we cold stratified in the fall. And no, I didn't do a video on that. I was in a hurry to get them in the bags and get them cold stratified. But I'm gonna run through a really quick process. It's this easy that I can just explain it. If you're somewhere that's special to you, a vacation in the fall, let's say you're in New England up at Walden Pond, or, or maybe you're out in California, wherever, and you pick up a couple of acorns or a couple of chestnuts or anything like that, take them and save them. I'm a sappy guy. Uh, most people know that, especially with my children. And so my daughter uh, ran cross country up in Moulton, Alabama for years. And if you've not been to Moulton, it's the Jesse Owens Invitational that they have up there for cross country. It's absolutely one of the most gorgeous parks you'll ever be at. But there are these majestic oaks everywhere. And so a couple of years ago, I started picking up the acorns and putting them in my pocket. And a lot of people would kind of laugh when I do it and they would say, why don't you just buy a tree, an oak tree at Walmart? Well, I kind of figure that, you know, when I get to have grandchildren, I can walk up in these fields and I can explain to my grandchildren that this is a tree from the area that their mother ran cross country. And I can give a whole story of how we used to go and watch her every Saturday in the fall and see the leaves change. And there's a great bonding story for my grandchildren, I can tell. If I just buy a tree from Walmart or I just buy a tree from a nursery, hey, granddad, where did you get that tree? I bought it at Walmart, let's move on. It's just not as much fun. So I like to have uh, trees on the property and any type of a softwood, like a gumball tree that we do cut off the property, I replace them with these. Yeah, I could go to Walmart. Yeah, I could go to a nursery. Yeah, I could order them from somewhere, but I don't. Everything I have, I try and bring a memory because the children were raised on this farm since the day they were born. And so I want this, if I'm fortunate enough to one day leave that to them, I want to be able to them to have memories. Maybe they're gonna have a husband that hunts and will have beautiful oak trees that will provide acorns. You know, maybe my daughters will be more into the arborist side of things and they will appreciate this. But I know that when I would visit my father when I was a kid, when I would go and visit uh, the family farm in Pennington Gap, Virginia, I loved hearing the stories of the apple trees and my grandfather in the barn. So I'm trying to bring that. With all of that said, let me say that's what we're doing with the coal stratification. So if you do go somewhere and you've got acorns that you've grabbed, chestnuts, whatever, okay, bring them back, put them in a bowl. This is as simple as it is. Put them in a bowl with some cold water. If the nut floats, it's no good, okay? If it sinks to the bottom, it's good. Separate them out, get you a couple of Ziploc bags, okay? And just get some topsoil, get some decent stuff. Um, organic for us, so we're gonna use organic uh, topsoil, but just wet it a little bit. Put the acorns in the bag, I'm gonna show you, put them in the bag, seal them up, put them in your refrigerator. Mark on there with what date you put them in. I'm a little ain't about stuff like that, but I think you should. Put it on there. So let me, let me give a shout out first, okay? You're gonna see three bags. You're gonna see two with Mississippi State on them, okay? These are the memories I'm talking about. I went over my first game with my daughter when she was at Mississippi State last year. First game we shared together was the Kentucky game. People are running around partying and having a good time. Me and my little horticulturalist daughter are picking up acorns for this reason, okay? That's a memory, okay? Down the road, I'm gonna be able to tell her children, hey, first game, how special it was, and that's your story. Second one, I'm gonna give a shout out um, to a, a very kind woman uh, coach Bishop, uh, that was my daughter's cross country coach. I needed a couple more acorns. I had approached her and just said after my daughter graduated, hey, could you grab me just a couple of more? Um, no questions asked. You know, she took time out of coaching that team to actually turn around, gather me acorns, and then, re then get back to me uh, so that I could get her. So 
you know, I say a shout out to her because there's a lot of coaches out there that suck. Um, she is not one of them. She has done a fantastic job with my daughter. And even after my daughter graduated, which we see a lot of coaches don't care once the kids graduate, she still was dedicated to my daughter. So hats off to Coach Bishop. Third one is uh, some Mississippi State uh, acorns that we just got. It's a large oak. I think it's a white oak. But do you see down in here where they're starting to sprout? Okay. And then, you know, as you see the Bishop acorns, we've got five November, and then we've got 16 October uh, for the ones that we got in Mississippi State. So I'm going to show you real quick how we can take these out and just how simple this is. I have these small pots. Okay. This is all you need to start out with. I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to put some manure tea that we make in here. And the reason that I do that is this, you really, really need to start these plants off with a strong organic base, okay? The acorns, think of it as the same way if you've ever had a child, you're not feeding a child right off the bat mushed up, you know, carrots or whatever. You're putting in a high protein, high mineralized uh, formula that really gets the baby started off, okay? Same concept with the plants. These are your babies, okay? I've got just some basic compost right here. I'm gonna put in here, about halfway full, okay? About halfway full. I'm gonna put a bunch of these, and we're gonna see what we can come up with, okay? Very simple to do these. Now, one of the things that you're gonna hear about, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone doesn't put something in, in the uh, comments about it, because I hear about it a lot when I'm doing this, is a thing called J-root. Okay, and J root is caused by a plant, and it could easily be an acorn, a lot of times it is, that is in a container too long, and the tap root goes to the bottom of the container, it turns, and it goes back up, okay? That is a problem, and a lot of people will say when I do these, uh, that come over and see how I do these, I've, done, I've shown a couple of people a little farm tour here. Um, yes, that can happen. Okay, but that can also happen if you've got Georgia soil or Alabama soil uh, and you didn't dig deep enough and put enough uh, in the bottom. So don't think that J-root is contained only to these plants or to these pots. Okay, you can have them at any time, any plant. So one of the things you can do, okay, it, the, the root will actually come down. Okay, and you'll see in a minute, it'll come down and then it'll curl back up. And if it curls back up, a lot of people will say, and it will, it will come up and it'll start curling around the base of the plant. You won't really get acorns and things of that. One thing that you can do is don't keep them in here too long. This is kind of like my transformation from the bags into that. I can handle these a whole lot better than I can a big barrel uh, that I put them in. Here's what you do though. When you get them out after maybe a month in here, and they get established, you get them out, just gently pull that J root down and put them down in, the, in a bigger pot or put them right in the ground. You guys have seen my video. If you haven't, look right up here on planting trees in tubes. This is the same concept. Okay, to save time, I've only got one bag here that we're gonna do and I'm gonna show you just how simple this is. We're gonna go with the live oaks that we got from Mississippi State I told you about from the Kentucky game. You're gonna see these are a lot smaller acorns. So again, all I've done is just reached in here. You can see, where they're growing there's a little bit of mold in here and you know the reason for that is is you are basically when you're cold stratifying you are dictating the way that the ground of a forest is and that's what this looks like under leaves if you've never pulled them back you need to so see look how small these are now the live oaks are great and i'm pointing these out specifically live oaks are great because you know uh turkeys or anything see that see how it's busted open turkeys or anything like that you're not limiting yourself obviously the deer are see it's a little bit of mold but that looks just like if you go to the woods you're in a city and you don't know when you pull back you'll see all that leaf mold that's basically what you're simulating you know and there's going to be some there's one that didn't do anything you know here's one there's a little piece of a root so what we're going to do is we're just going to get some of the best ones. Look at that monster, okay? I'm going to put them down in there. See if we can find a couple more. And what's great about this is, as you can see, is I am not going to use every one of them. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, seven of these. 
these other ones because it's a you know it's a you've ever had a statistics class you know if you want 10 you plant tree you put 25 in here if we had some more success what i'll do is i'll throw these out in the woods they'll sprout up okay all i'm gonna do from there is take this i'm gonna put a little bit of dirt just on top okay just like that not a lot guys just enough to do that okay that's it okay now i've also got over here i did uh, already you can see these larger acorns these are, these are the ones that coach bishop got for us i'm gonna put those in there now let's talk a little bit about what i mentioned with your manure tea okay very easy to make again check out our video on manure tea so that you can see how to make that very easily and here is just one more way that this benefits let's see if we can't get them in. okay so i've got all of my acorns in there i've got everything set up we're ready to go i'm going to show you all this okay this is just how simple it is manure tea look at that gold coming out of there this is you cannot get this in a fertilizer form from the store and as you can see i'm going to really soak these because they need to be to really get acclimated okay that is nothing more and look again look at our past video and see the recipe that we use that is as good as it gets if you have any questions Please put on the comments below. There'll be more to tell you. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and have a great day.